Okay, I'm very lucky to be joined with by Umek. This is Umek. Hello, hello. One of the biggest techno DJs of all time. Biggest? Yeah, like really and tall. actually I've had to put myself on yeah. a step so yeah. I can be like So the I'm same literally level. one of the biggest techno DJs in the world. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> so Umek, you've literally flown in from Slovenia. Slovenia today? Uh, no, not today. I was actually in Switzerland. I was snowboarding for the last three days because I had a pretty rough uh, last 14 days. Pretty rough. Why yeah, because that means I got in nine days I had 10 gigs. So okay. I had to go to chill down a little bit. So I chose uh, to go snowboarding. To Switzerland? Yeah, Switzerland. Okay. Oh. So you've just flown in literally from Switzerland now Today. to come and do this gig here at yes. Electro Beach. Exactly. Do you ever get nervous before your sets? No, never. Never? No, I'm a DJ for so many years. So I don't actually have a reason to be nervous, you know. Yeah. How many years have you been DJing? Professionally since 93, I've DJed even before, so I guess I'm DJ for more than 20 years now. Okay, excellent. And uh, now, how did you get into DJing? Please tell me a little bit about it. Well, uh, I know a few stories about you when uh, you were younger. You were uh, a bit of a naughty boy. No, I was never a naughty boy. <laughs> <laughs> but how, uh, how I started was a funny story. I, I went to uh, school dance and I saw this DJ, he was playing from cassettes at the time. And he was playing uh, all the music he wanted and everybody was dancing. And I said to myself, oh my God, this is a great job. You play the music you, you like, everybody's dancing. Yeah. You get free drinks, girls are looking at you. So this must be a dream job. <laughs> so yeah, uh, then I was standing back and looking, what is he doing like, for many years? So uh, I learned how to, how to DJ. How to DJ. Yeah. Now I've had a little story that you used to do trips over to Germany. Exactly. Because at the time, it was before Slovenia became independent. No, actually we were independent. Oh, you were independent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was really hard for you, because you love techno music so much. And it was really hard for you to get hold of it. So you used to do little trips over to, to Germany. To, to Munich, Munich, actually, yeah. Because uh, we, we didn't have any record shops. So we were driving every two weeks, sometimes every, every week to find freshest tracks, fresh, mm -hmm. freshest records. Yeah. Uh, and I think we were doing this for 10 years or so. Like, uh, yeah. it, was, it was crazy. And I still remember I went to these record stores in Optimal, uh, Delirium, and we bought this, uh, I know we got this uh, magazine called Front Page. You know, it's a German language. I don't understand one single word of <laughs> German. So I went home and all my friends were like, they half knew how to speak German, so they were mm -hmm. trying to translate so I could get some information about this music and, and everything. It was, it was quite yeah. tough at the beginning, yeah, really. So you used to set up, you used to do little raves. Yeah, yeah. I heard that the first one you did, not many people came to you, but the <laughs> second one you did, in the fields, like in an open air rave, with the, cow um, thing, with the cows, <laughs> yeah, I've heard this. Okay, do you want to tell the story about the yeah, politician, what um, the politician said? It was many years ago, uh, electronic scene was really young, nobody actually knew about it, just like few hundreds, few hundreds of people. So uh, we rent this uh, small truck, we put a sound system on it, yeah. some lights, and we were driving out of Ljubljana to this, I think, uh, I don't even know the name of the, the place, it was really small, actually a village. Yeah. So we were playing there for the whole night and I guess there were 300 to 500 people. And the next day there was in a magazine uh, that cows didn't give enough of milk because of the music was too loud. <laughs> this is what the politician yeah, said. Yeah, yeah, exactly, the, the mayor. Yeah, yeah, and, and then I, I think that the mayor of, of that... Of that Do you uh, believe it? Uh, no, I don't. It's no, just it's like just they were, they were the scared because... I guess they read some, some, I don't know, some magazines about ecstasy and stuff like that and they were going bananas like, oh my god, this is happening over here right in front of our doors. <laughs> like, this must be stopped, you know, and uh, it was quite a funny, quite funny. <laughs> That's right. Do you play anything else other than techno or is techno your main genre? Uh, I don't even know if I play techno. Actually, if you ask the techno guys, they will say I play tech house. If you ask the tech house guys, they will say I'm playing techno. So, so very complicated. I'm, 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 yeah, I'm stuck in the middle. Actually, I really had in a moment those like uh, how do you say uh, naming the genres because yeah. it's it's so limited on that you know yeah. I, I play what I play and I hope that people like it you know that's it very we simple. do and we're really looking forward to your set Thanks. I can't wait to hear it. can I come backstage of course can I dance behind yeah, of course. Oh, amazing amazing Anytime. all right okay well we're not going to keep you any longer because I know you've got no to problem. play your set now sure but yeah well we're really looking forward to it so uh yeah, thank you very much, Umek, and yeah, see you soon. Thank you now. Thank right. you. Bye bye. <laughs> Ciao.